How's it going everyone? Matt Vanacora with Ask Audio, and today I'm checking out the Antelope Audio Zentor audio interface. This is a really cool interface from Antelope Audio. Uh, I had the chance to check out the Orion Studio a while back, and this is a really sort of phenomenally compact version of that that is really, really convenient and sounds pretty fantastic. So I'm pretty happy with this in my time of testing it. I'd like to just point out a couple of the things that uh, I think brought this to the top and certainly brought this audio interface to my attention. Uh, first, the hardware-based plugins and the amp modeling uh, are happening with near zero latency. So you've got the ability to use plugins that are actually powered by the hardware. They don't affect the DSP of your computer. They don't hit you for more processing power. You can run a bunch right on the interface. And this also means that you can actually monitor with those plugins and not have to worry about uh, any kind of latency because it's all happening inside the hardware. It's not going through the hardware to the computer, computing, and then coming back out again. So that saves a lot of CPU cycles, but it also saves a lot of time in your latency chain. Um, this 24-bit, 192 kilohertz up to, up to there, and you definitely notice in every bit of headroom on this device. It feels big, and that's the funny thing because it's, it's so compact, but the sound that you get out of it is definitely a very big sound. You've got a lot of room to work with and very little noise floor. There are four mic pre's and four switchable line in uh, high Z ins, plus two ADATs for another 16 channels uh, of digital I.O. as well. So you've got some mic pre's located on the back, you're four of them. You've got your quarter inch inputs on the front, which can be switched between line and high Z guitar. You also have uh, really cool, these two reamp modules for guitar direct recording. So if you want to take some guitar tracks direct and then you decide you want to send it back out through an amp, as you know, you know, doing that with a regular quarter inch output doesn't always give you the best result. It's not the same impedance level a guitar amp is expecting. So you don't have to worry about that with the Zentor. You can actually track guitar live. Um, if you're bringing this with you to record a live band, for example, you can get your direct guitar sound and not have to worry that, you know, well, in this venue, they're using a stinky mic and there's a lot of leak and it's a lot of noise on the stage. And then you can run it back through your amp afterwards. So this really is a guitar friendly interface, something that as a guitarist and uh, in addition to being a keyboardist, I can appreciate that we're starting to see some cool guitar features get bounced into this. Um, in addition to that, there's two independent headphone virtual outputs. So if you're going to use this with headphone mixes, you can actually have two different people having two completely separate mixes. So I definitely dig that. It makes it a lot easier for the home studio. Um, it's got a very high res touch screen. The touch screen works really, really well. Uh, it's definitely not gimmicky. It helps you not have to dive into the software on the computer. The software on the computer is for OS X. Uh, they also have it for Windows. Uh, iOS is on the way. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure that it's going to be probably just a direct conversion of what you're looking at on the screen or what you're looking at in OS X. Um, and in that case, it's pretty simple to use. You can route just about anything to anywhere else. Um, you do have to kind of set it up and really make sure that you're routing the audio out from your computer to the output jacks that you want and that type of thing. But once you've got it set up, it really works quite well. Uh, the other thing that is really neat, and I, I'm digging this about interfaces, is that this one runs USB and Thunderbolt. And this is really great because I've been in a lot of situations, mobile, uh, when I'm on the go with my laptop, where I recorded with Thunderbolt, but then I decide, oh, I want to plug in my Thunderbolt hard drive, and I'm using another my other Thunderbolt port to drive a display. So you have the option to switch this over to USB and then record USB. And again, I've also been live and gone, well, I'm plugging in a keyboard with USB, and I'm also plugging in this other um, you know, device, maybe my iLock with USB, so I really wish my audio interface was Thunderbolt. So I really appreciate having the flexibility of being able to switch back and forth between the two. It makes it very easy to um, justify grabbing the Zentor and using it as your primary audio interface on the go. So it's an audio interface that is big enough to use in studio, but small enough to take on the road. Definitely, definitely dug it, and I think you will too.